What's going on, everybody? Dogman in here. We are in the Stanley Parable. I think it's about time I played this game. It was on sale for three dollars on Steam. I had it in my account there, so uh, yeah, got it. Let's give it a try. This will either get through it or uh, get so frustrated I won't want to play it anymore. Here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to step out of the office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Okay, then. Let's do it. say I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. Oh my gosh. Feels like it's taking forever. Did that thing restart after he said that? Oh, that would... Oh gosh, I hope not. Well, we'll just keep clicking. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment. A willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Okay. Uh, where's door 1417? Aha! Phone in the bottom corner, then the box. Wish I could click faster. Oh, great. 
Great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. I'm going to subject you people to this. Just keep that in mind. If you're watching, you're going to have a long episode. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. This guy's a real dick. <laughs> Now, back to door number 437. I'm fooling myself for an achievement, aren't I? Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? Copy machine? All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> this shit. Oh man. Uh Okay, now go climb on employee four one nine's desk. Yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. Alright, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door four one six. Uh Okay. We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! Oh my gosh. I feel like a complete ass right now. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! Yes! We did it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? <laughs> Whatever, you dick. Moving along. Can we go in here? Somebody was playing solitaire in there. Can't break the door, the window. Still can't get in there. Nothing behind there. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. I'm gonna follow the directions and we'll see what happens. Awfully bright outside. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute with a co worker using slides to assure employees everything is okay. 
<laughs> Everyone is unique. You, most of all. Number of slides on this slide. <laughs> what do people want? The stock market is somewhere here. Rate at which charts on the same slide depict the same information. <laughs> Rate of increase in graphs on the slide. Somebody's all screwed up now. The Bross Appreciation Minute. Buy quarterly post review. Solving interpersonal conflicts. Okay. To do synergize. Oh yeah. Broom room. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I see a broom. What do you mean there's nothing there? There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an em coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. No. Ah, the boss has got a nice area. Executive bathroom. The computer's not on. What's that over there? Anything good? No. Let me in. Nope. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 284. Four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Huh? He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Ah! This is... Wall. Yes, we'll go down the elevator. This is crazy. That's all I'm going to say is this is crazy. Loading. 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 Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. Can I go back up now then? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape? Or Mind Control Facility? Escape? Or Mind Control Facility? No, I said I was going to follow what this guy said. And we'll see what the outcome is. Uh oh. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I'm kind of a little scared.
Now the monitors jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Okay, moving on. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? This is getting interesting. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Uh. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Ah. Uh. Okay. Push the big red button. Just making sure. Where's number three? I got four or five. Is there a certain order? Okay, well I guess we'll just come in here then. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place 
and to everything it stood for. Dumbass. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. No. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. That's just too simple. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Somehow I don't believe you. And Stanley was happy. The end is never the end. <laughs> of course not. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I... 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 Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. What? Oh my god. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. <laughs> well, it's going to get interesting. I can see that for now as we mess around more and more. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. No, he didn't. Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. The door behind him was not shut. 
Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Hell no. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Here we go. Well, I can't go up. and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. There you are, Stanley. Oh, Lord. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body. Killing him instantly. I, I, I got nothing. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Okay, so are you seeing it then? Because, basically... We started here in my office. Come out of the office. The whole layout. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Interesting. The whole thing has been laid out, basically. Door one, two, three. The you thought I saw that the first time, but it was really the second time that we did it. Okay. So that's actually pretty fun. It was well worth the money. I'm liking that. That's funny. Credits to everybody that made the game. Stanley Parable credits. And I mean, you can go back in here and try out tons of different ways and go back and forth. Made using uh, Source by Valve. So, uh, yeah. Very, very interesting. Office clock, just kind of showing all the different things that was in here. Taking you through the whole... Narration outtakes. Where were all of his co-workers? Oh, I don't know. How about they're throwing a surprise party for him, for all his button pushing. Does that sound plausible to you? Took nearly two years to do the uh, audio. Nice. Hey, I'll tell you what, sometimes the simplest games.
monitor room elevator. Yeah, they did a great job. Wow. I'll tell you that. I'm actually lost at this point. Ah. One option, two option, one option, number four. Nice. Very, very interesting. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this, uh, I guess, quick playthrough. I'll probably play it a few more times and try different entrances and exits and see what the different stuff that gets said through the narration and whatnot. But uh, if you have any comments or questions about it, please, <laughs> of course. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, that will be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose. I'm not quite sure if I should laugh right now. <laughs> Did I actually just get myself killed? 